congrats on that 80-yard run. Appreciate it, man. So what did you see there? I mean, no one touched you. So, I mean, that's what it is. Oh, I didn't see nothing, so I just kept it going. I feel like I felt all day. I felt like I was gonna have a big run today, and I kind of called it before it happened with the strength coaches. And then when it happened, it just felt good, just to, you know, see it happen. You know, unfold. And that touch pass, the 39-yarder, was about as pretty as a pass as you've thrown. I mean, any any touchdown is a pretty touchdown to me. So uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a nice pass to Nate. He got open and made it easier for me to drop it in. You know, just one of my thing going through my head was like, don't miss this touchdown. It's too easy right now. So yeah, that's the only thing. What did it mean for you to finally be able to get in there and actually sort of get into get to a rhythm, show people what you're fully capable? I mean, it felt good to just play. Um, you know, I love playing this game, and I feel like I'm. You know, I have the abilities to go a long way in this game, and it just felt good just go out there and showcase it and put a couple points on the board to help our team win. What, what's this season been like for you? I know in the spring you said you came here to win the starting job, and that was your one goal. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just trying try to make it every day, you know, get better as a quarterback, get better as a, as a person. And, uh, you know, I feel like I have a role in this team and playing and, and Coach Lon's on the guy, I have a plan for me, and that's just, I'm just going going with the flow right now. I'm not stressing, thinking forward to the future. I'm just playing one day at a time right now. How much more comfortable are you, are you getting as, as you play more and more? Uh, I mean, I love playing. I mean, pl playing is the best thing. That's the best uh, motivator for me. And, you know, I just love playing in front of people. I love to perform. And I feel like the more and more opportunities I get, the more and more I'm going to do, you know, more positive things with it. What's sort of the relationship like between all the quarterbacks in the room right now? <laughs> the quarterbacks, I mean, we, we probably tighter than most of y'all want to believe or think. But, uh, I mean, me and Sean go back from high school. Um, when I got up here, Jeremy, it was no beef, what you would think it is, uh, a guy coming in and, you know, everything that happened last year. It wasn't none of that. They took me in, they brought me in. They've been helping me. We've been right along with each other. I mean, if you look at my touchdown today, look on the sideline, you see Jeremy Johnson running down the field faster than me. So that just goes to show you right there that our relationship is tight no matter what's going on or on or off the field with us. So, How's he been handling this Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, to be honest, Jeremy just wants to win. He doesn't matter. He doesn't care if he plays. He doesn't care if he plays the whole game. Jeremy just wants to win. And to have somebody like that in your corner, especially in our quarterback room, is good for us because, you know, we push each other and we all rooting for each other. How do you think you can build on this performance moving forward? I mean, just keep playing my game. Um, Obviously, take it when it's there, and, you know, uh, just not try to do too much. And, uh, you know, whenever the opportunity presents itself, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of it. It's just my mindset and how I always play the game. So, you know, the more opportunities I get, if I get more opportunities, as long as we win, that's all I care about, to be honest. What did you say to Nate after that touchdown? Obviously, his first career touchdown, your first touchdown. I was touchdown. like, man, congrats on your first touchdown. I was like, you, you made it easier on me because I didn't have to, you know, make the, the hard throw and just let you go up and get it. And, you know, uh, I just congratulate him because as a true freshman, that's a big accomplishment to have your first touchdown. So he was happy about it. John, I just got here, but how do you think you did today? Uh, I felt, I mean, I felt like I played really good. Um, I had fun. And, you know, football, you know, when you're having fun, you're beating teams, and, you know, just executing. That's the thing Coach preached all week was executing. Um, and as an offense, we executed today pretty well at a high level. And I think the scoreboard showed that at the end of the game. That pass you through the net, Greg, that's one of the best passes you've thrown. Uh, yeah, I mean, touchdowns. I love throwing touchdowns. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty pass. But, uh, you know, Nate really made it easier on me by the route that he ran. He was open by himself. So I just didn't want to mess up his opportunity, honestly. Which did you like better, the pass or the run? Oh, the pass for sure. Uh, the run, that can happen any play with me, honestly. So I like the pass better because you don't, you don't get those too often. So when it's there, I like to take advantage of it. So throwing touchdowns, I definitely like more. What did you see on that run, John? Um, uh, the cra the end crash. We knew they was gonna crash a lot this week, and Coach said, uh, told me before our game, he's like, you are gonna have some chances to run. So uh, I've been watching the ends crash all game, and I was like, if you crash, I'm gonna make you pay. And he crashed, and I <laughs> made him pay. So how good did it feel to be out there today, and in, in, in something like this? It, it felt good. I mean, just going out there and playing in front of people. Those moments I live for. I love to be in front of people and and perform and you know put on a show for people. So just. Just playing, not having to think, just going to play is always a great feeling. Is it getting better? Is it getting to the point where you're not having to think and you can just go out there and play at this yes, point? Yes, for sure. Um, though, now that I've been getting all the number two reps, you know, I'm way more comfortable as far as throwing the ball, as far as running the ball, 
and then all the game plan I know. And I rep it every day and practice me and Sean both. So just that alone gives me enough comfort, uh, makes me feel more comfortable to go out there and just play. Just another practice, another day to me. John, would you like the opportunity maybe to have a little bit more? Maybe a package to come in during the regular part of the game before y'all get ahead or behind or anything like that. I mean, it, to me, it don't matter. Whatever you know helps us win the game. That's my that's my number one goal. Uh, you know, I, I love winning. Everybody love winning. So I mean, if that means I play one snap, then and we still win, then good. Like last week, we won. I don't care. If that means I played the whole game and we win, then good. I played the whole game and I won. But at the end of the day, I want a W. You know, it, it's a it's a good feeling after a win instead of a loss. So that's the only thing that matters to me. Has there been any talk about utilizing you in different positions other than quarterback, just maybe a jet sweep here and there or anything like that to utilize your speed? Uh, nah, I mean, we haven't practiced anything. Nothing's been brought up to me about it. But I, I'm honestly down to do whatever helps out our team, to be honest. Um, whatever whatever I can do to contribute to this team winning, that's what I want to do. Do you go into every game with a package of some sort just in case? Uh, well, it started off like that, but now I just go in as the number two quarterback. Now, whatever they call, I'm capable of running. I run the same plays and practice that Sean does, so if he has to go down, then there's nothing. There's no fall off, no drop off, so I don't think I have a package anymore. I'm just running the whole offense. What changed for you when they said that you were going to start getting all of the second team reps? Um, this just in my mind says like, okay, it's an opportunity to move up the ladder, and just make the most of it. Don't give them a reason not to, you know, not to let you keep going higher. So you know, uh, getting more reps and me and your cars make me more comfortable in the offense, and uh, just give me more confidence playing and making plays like I always did. At what point on that 80 yard run did you know you were going the distance? Uh, probably about 10 yards after I broke the line of scrimmage. Uh, I didn't see a safety. And I was like, yeah, it's, just, it's a wrap. Well, <laughs> obviously, you didn't play at Mississippi State or anything, but you know, having a chance to go back to Mississippi after spending <laughs> last year there, what's that going to be like for you? I mean, I never thought I would have to go back to Mississippi, nor was I looking forward to it. But um, I mean, I got a lot of, I think, coaching them going to come to the game, a couple of the boys from the team. So it should be it should be good to go back to Mississippi. You know, why is there? Just talked to him the other day, so it should be good just to be back in Mississippi and play in front of a couple people that I haven't seen in a while. See Miss Wagner there, you think? Yeah, she she's told me she should be there. She they going to both Mississippi games, so that should be good to see her and a couple other people. What was your relationship like, you know, with her and you know her helping you out here? Uh, we still talk. She always called and check up on me. Um, Coach Stevens texts me about every Friday now. We'll talk about their game, but then he'll ask what's what's the plan for this weekend. We we talk quite a bit. But um, me and Ms. Wagner were real cool, real close. Cool. She did a lot for everybody at that school, especially me. And you know, I really appreciate her when you, look, when you look back at that year and then the documentary came out, there's all kinds of mixed messages about your performance and then also the way you acted. How, how did you just kind of take it? I mean, I'm just put it like this. You can't judge me off of six hours of a, of a show. That's not who I am as a person, and that's not me. That's not my character. I mean, uh, they filmed us for six months, and you only got to see six hours. So you can think what you want about me, and I mean, but that doesn't define me as a person. You ask the people that are around me every day, and you, they'll tell you for themselves that that's not me. But you know, it, it made it helped build a story, and me and the director talked about it before it came out. So it wasn't nothing that I was blindsided by. So I mean, that's just that. Do you poke at wide? Or do you poke at wide at all when you go over there if you play and he doesn't? In Mississippi State. <laughs> uh, nah, actually, he just proposed to his girlfriend the other day, oh, really? so I just you know congratulated him. We that was what I talked to him yesterday or the day before. Nah, but um, me and Wyatt are cool, cool too. So I, I mean, he's I think he saved his red shirt this year, but it will be good to see him for sure. I'm glad he got an opportunity to keep playing because Wyatt is a real good player, and I was just happy for him too that he got a chance to keep playing the game that he loves. In the documentary, you even said, hey, uh, you know, when he was talking about not playing football anymore, you were like, why, why aren't you going to go play football, man? Keep playing. How much were you trying to push him to, to do that, and were you involved at all in him trying to walk on at the state? Because that came out of nowhere, really. Um, yeah, I was surprised that he walked on. I mean, you know, why, why is a true competitor? And he, we pushed each other so hard. He stepped his game up tremendously when I got to um, East Mississippi last season. And ultimately, that's why he ended up winning the star job because he didn't give me a chance, that he didn't mess up to give me a chance to capitalize. So I credit him now. He's just a, uh, a real competitor. And I was like, man, you can't sell yourself short because you're too good to be playing. You're too good not to be playing this game. And, you know, I don't know what, you know, I'm just glad he has a chance to play. Right.